Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a salt beer. This one is Chinook. This is a Vermont Session IPA at 4.7%. There it is. Uh, this one <coughs> came in the salt parcel I got with the salt birthday box and NFT2 um, and there was another beer I got. I just bought the new stuff and the birthday box which I really enjoyed. Um, all the reviews for them are up if you want to have a look. Um, so yeah, I bought this one a little bit ago. It's been in my fridge. I've just not got around to doing it. I've not been in the mood for it. Like, I, if anyone else gets it, where you look at it being, you're just like, not, not, not in the mood for that today. I don't feel it. Not, re not wanting it. I don't know why, but that's how I felt with this one. But puckering up the courage, and I'm just going to drink it today. It's New Year's Eve. I'm going to start early. Get a nice, uh, nice get. Get a nice couple of drinks going, and this will be a nice start, a nice session IPA. Um, some guff on the back, quickly, hopefully, says, um, of, a month series, uh, of a month session IPA series is all about showcasing different hop flavours in their juiciest form. Brewed with only the finest hops imported from the US and Australia, the Vermont series takes inspiration uh, from its namesake. Where Vermont style IPAs were born for them to progress into delicious New England styles that we see to get, uh, today. Chinook hops produce high and bright grapefruit flavours that accentuate a clean bitterness and aromas are packed full of resinous pine and light spice. There you go. There's all the guff. That's all that bit there. Uh, I'm not going to read that. That's just the salt history, who they are, how long they've been brewing. Um... I've read all that stuff before. Anyway, count out quickly. Just a bunch of hops, but I do like this bronze going through the green. Sort of stands out a little. Really, really nice. Um, it's got this matte finish, and then that's all nice and silky. And then the words you can feel uh, a little raised. Anyway, let's crack it open and see what we got. Right, well, that's settled, but there's our beer. It's a hazy pineapple juice looking beer. With It's actually a bright white head that quite compact, and then the top is very loose bubbles. Looks very good. I think there's a bit of dirt in the glass. Hold on. No. No, there's not. Um, oh, no, there is. Here we go. Um, right, so, looks lovely. No floaters. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? It is grapefruit. Very much so. Very citrusy. I'm not getting too much of that pine aroma that they were saying, but it is there, but I'm, it's not as much as I thought it was going to be. It smells nice, it smells citrusy, fruity, grapefruits, a little bit of pine. Let's get a mouthful for Bunny Cop. Cobs, very, very fine. Body's quite light, actually. Um, it's quite juicy. It's quite refreshing, actually. Um, so far, so good. It's gonna be able to taste, shall we? Cheers. Ooh. It's good. Oh, that's nice. It is nice. Um so big thing, grapefruit, yeah, it's it's the it's quite a heavy hitter. Um it's quite sweet at the beginning, for like about a quarter of the beer, and then the sweetness fades away, and then you're left with this bitterness, this lingering bitter, <coughs> piney resinous flavour for basically three quarters of the beer. The only thing I have with this is it feels watered down in a way. Like I feel like this could be much more impactful with flavour, um, could be jam packed with grapefruits. 
uh, and then have this nice, lingering, bitter pine flavour. Which, yeah, that's what it is, but it's not jam-packed with grapefruits and it doesn't have this massive pine finish of a beer. Um, it's just a nice little bit of grapefruit quickly fades into what is enough to know that it's pine. Uh, this pine resinous bitter finish um, that lingers. It's good. It could be packed with much more flavour is the only thing. Yeah, it's good. It just could be a bit more. Could be packed with actually way more fruit. More um, grapefruit, more pine, more hops, more flavour. I know it's 4.7. So it's you. You get to work. You got to work with what you got. Um, but I can imagine this being like a seven eight percenter. It's obviously not a session IPA at that point, but a seven eight percenter, and I could feel this being way uh, way more flavorful. For four point seven, I think it still could be better. I have had better flavored, um, weaker beers before. So I think they could do a little better with this one. But with what it is, it's decent. So, and it's a vegan friendly beer. Didn't even notice. Uh, it is decent, but I could be better. So, I'm going to go in and enjoy this. It is nice. Just could be better. Um, this will be a start to the New Year festivities. Uh, the beers coming out. I've got a good couple ones coming out later tonight. Some big, big hitters. So hopefully... Uh, stick around and see what I've got and enjoy them with me. So, Salts Chinook Vermont Session IPA at 4.7 out of 10. Uh, I can give it a 7, a generous 7. I can give that a 7, yeah. It's good. Could be way better though. So, if you've had this before please let me know let me know what you think if you like it if you don't if you've not had it i'll leave a link to salt's website down below um i know they have this in stock it's one of the we're going to be pushing it for quite a while now until they make the new one and then the new one will be the replacement for it and so on and so forth same with the hop series that they did they did one and then that was there for a few months and then they did another and there's more months and anyway link will be down for salt if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.